Dragon Blade. Doing a lot better. Um, as you can see here, I got my Dark Illusion playmat. I actually won it in a raffle for the first time ever. I actually won a mat. I honestly was very excited about that. I've never actually won a Yu-Gi-Oh mat or anything in my life, so just the fact that I've been able to get this has given me some hope that eventually my future will be bright. I'm not going to go into detail. Obviously, you can tell from the extra deck and from the leader of the deck, it's going to be my Super Heavy Samurai fully completed. So, we're going to just jump right into the deck profile. You run triple Super Heavy Samurai Big Benkei. The ace monster of the deck can make all of your Super Heavies attack and defense mode, and if it's normal or special summon, you can change it from attack to defense. And it can swing in defense mode as well. So, he makes them all total defense shoguns. Three of the expensive one, Flutist. He's the one who special summons Big Benki from your hand. And Flutist is the best one, honestly. You should run him at three. And we run Triple Trumpeter. Trumpeter is also the one you want to run at three. He's the best tuner in the deck. He can special himself. This one can negate effects at target, and can also bring out Big Benki from your hand. This one in particular is used for synchro summoning, and he can be brought out very easily as long as you control no spells and traps in your graveyard. Same with him. If you control no spells and traps and your opponent controls two monsters, you can special this guy. And when he's normal or special summoned, you can special a level 4 lower super heavy samurai monster from your graveyard. So... Obviously, you can target anything but himself. He's got 1800 defense. Very good card. And we run Triple Magnet. Also a very good card. It's like uh, the other one, except it doesn't go from the graveyard. It goes from the hand. It's a Marauding Captain, if you will. Then you change it to defense position, and then your opponent can only attack him. And obviously, if you have two magnets, they can't attack at all. So, that's pretty good. Need to run him at three. The other one you run at 3 is Super Heavy Samurai Thief. He's the MST of the deck. Very easy to summon. You just special him if you control no spells and traps in your graveyard. Then you contribute him to set a spell and trap to your side of the field, or you can pop Pendulum Scale and put it to your Pendulum Zone. He is usually used to make Gustav Max. That's why I run him at 3, because I actually run the train. Triple Soul Piercer, mandatory, you have to run this guy at 3. He causes your Super Heavy to inflict piercing damage, and when he's sent from the field of the graveyard, he can search you a Super Heavy Samurai monster. Very important dude. Two Soul Fire Suit to protect them from destruction. Then two Blue Brawler, because they can't be destroyed by battle. That's the reason why they're here. Two Giga Gloves. It's a weird kind of searcher. When you when it's sent to the graveyard, you can excavate the top uh, five cards of your deck, or actually it just says look at them, put them in any order, and then if your opponent declares an attack, you can banish this from your graveyard. I believe it's a direct attack. It's a direct attack. Banish it from your graveyard, and you can excavate the top card of your deck if it's a super heavy. You can add it to your hand, and then if you do, make the monster that was attacking you zero permanently. So it's a very useful effect. Then two Super Heavy Samurai Soulfire Gauntlet, just to... It's basically an Honest. You drop this on Benki, it becomes a 7,000 beater, which is ridiculous. Then we have a Super Heavy Samurai Battle Ball, just at one. It's a good card. Super Heavy Samurai Drum, Super Heavy Samurai, this one's Prepped Defense, that one's Gores, this one's just a one-star tuner. If it's destroyed, it can special summon any Super Heavy except itself from the graveyard. And then the last one we run is one General Jade. General Jade, you just tribute off uh, Trumpeter, and uh, normal this guy, special the Trumpeter back, and you can make Suswan a little easy. Those are the only ones that you run one of. And the only other cards that we run are the one, this, I'm going to probably butcher this guy's uh, name, High Freight Train Derek Crane. And its effect is as follows. If an Earth Machine type monster was normal or special summoned to your field except during the damage step, 
The special summon this card from your hand. Its original attack and defense become halved. You can only use this effect of Heavy Freight uh, Train once per turn. If this card is detached as an XYZ material and sent to the graveyard, you can activate this mod. To activate that monster's effect, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. So basically, you make your stuff max. You may, First of all, if you have him and the Super Heavy Samurai Thief in your hand, you special Thief, special this, to get into Gustav Max, detach, burn them for 2,000, and blow a card up because of this card. It's a very useful card. I'd run it at 2 if I had room. And 2 Giant Rat. I used to have 3 Giant Rat, but I felt that 2 is just necessary. Alright, so that's it for the monsters. It's a lot of monsters. It's 38. Or, no, that's actually 36 monsters. And then we run two Galaxy Cyclone, because Galaxy Cyclone is another thing you can remove from the graveyard. It it helps with the, you know, spell and trap destruction. Just overall, all a good card to have in here. And then the two Breaker skills, because monster effects suck, and honestly, I don't see the point of running Grayling. That being said, that's the entire deck. It's 40. Now we're going to go to the extra deck. Extra deck is two Gear Gigant X. I would ran I would have run three, and trust me, in my old profiles I actually have run three of this guy. He searches out everything in the deck except for Benki, your freight train, and your thief. But he searches out all the other ones because they're all level four or lower. Oh yeah, and General Jade, it's another one you can't search. But everything else you can search and basically you want to just have him on the field to basically have a little bit of a floater. Uh, one of Dweller. This card doesn't really need explaining. It's just good. One Gustav Max. I wish I had the space for another one because I can make multiples. I could probably make two, burn them for 4,000, then attack for 3k. This card's ridiculous. It's very easy to make. Aturia Beast and Aturia Barkeon. I know I actually have a beast now. So these two are pretty simple. You have Drum and... Uh, what is it? Drum and Magnet to make this thing. Or you can use uh, drum, uh, or you can use magnet and uh, trumpeter to make Barkeon. and that basically is how it goes. Trumpeter's effect, the special summon, uh, makes you only summon super heavy samurai monsters. But if you bring him out by other means, uh, such as scales or um, magnet, you can use it to bring out these two, and that's very important, especially early game. You make an Ateria beast, they usually can't get over it because they have to activate spells. Triple Super Heavy Samurai, Shitten Doji, Ogre Shitten Doji. The Harpy's Feather Duster, you have to run it at 3, it's just mandatory. A Black Rose, because it's Black Rose. 2 QB? I'm probably going to bump this down to 1 when the level 5 comes out, because I need to run the 5 probably at 1 and 2. QB's good though, I've made it a couple times and it's become ridiculously big. And then, Triple Dusuanolo. I'll probably bump this down too, bump it down out. So, a QB and a uh, Tuswano. These will be for the two, uh, for the fives that we're going to be getting. Uh, card of the Night. I guess actually would probably be Gustav because this card actually won me a game. It's 13 Dragon Blades signing off.